it's Mrs. Reynolds here with Pink Cactus Studio and I want to do some doodling. Come join me. Grab some markers or some colored pencils or some crayons and let's doodle. The first thing I like to do when I doodle is just look at the colors and decide what colors I kind of want to gravitate towards today. Sometimes you gravitate towards different colors. Some, so those are like the same color. Huh. Sometimes you want warm colors, sometimes you want cool colors, sometimes you want all the colors. Today I think I want all the colors. Yes. Okay, maybe this one. So now that you have your color choices, then you just start with a color and decide what color you wanna start with. I'm gonna start with this one, because it was on the top. And then what I like to do when I doodle is I like to maybe start with a flower or a shape or a heart. Typically my doodles start with a heart. And then maybe I make a flower over here. But they're just sort of shapes that I want to make. And then I start to make some parts of the lines a little bit thicker so that it adds a little more excitement to the shape that I've made. So all I'm doing here is I'm thickening up this top curve. I like to sort of thicken up the curve parts of it. And then over here, I'm gonna do that same thing on this side. And then when I get to the flower, I'm gonna thicken up up here. And it just makes it a little more interesting than having your lines the same thickness. And then I maybe want some like teardrop shapes. I love these teardrop shapes. I love these shapes that have like a three attached. Oh, that's kind of very similar there. So then you go and thick up. So that looks kind of like that one. And then you thicken up your curved areas. And you just keep going from there. And you notice I'm only using one color right now, but that's not what you have to do. Right now I'm just sort of setting up some shapes and where I want them. And then what I'm gonna go do is I'm gonna add more color inside or more shapes just to sort of fill up the whole space. And here we go. I'm gonna change colors and do more of those similar shapes and see if I can fill in more of that space. So maybe I put a raindrop here. And maybe I add another one over here. Maybe I add a heart right here. And then maybe some more lumpies. Oh, that turned into a heart. That's okay. And then maybe some more of these things. Maybe a circle. So I'm just sort of doodling. Once I have my shapes, then I'm gonna go and thicken it up. is to fill in more of those spaces with those shapes, but then also go inside those shapes and add new colors. But sort of take the same shape that you've made, but then put it inside. So I might take this three shape. You don't have to color it in all the way. You can still do those thicker and thinner lines. And then you can maybe make more lines and more shapes. And if you do similar things around the page, it sort of adds a little bit of unity to your work. And then you just keep filling in. find all this white space and you just keep adding. And then inside all of these like connecting spaces, you want shapes that are going to connect in there. 
so that you don't have any white space. And just sort of continue on with those similar shapes so that you can fill it in. And notice I've got a lot of yellow over here. And so I'm gonna put more yellow over here. Now these circles, you can kind of connect them. And then if you do it in one part, you need to do it in all the parts. Sometimes you can just fill in little spaces like that with color. And just keep going. Don't stop until everything's filled in. You can put a piece of paper down like this and then it won't get you. Good to doodle. That's nice. Thank you. I love this picture. Thank you. You want to show it? Yeah. Thank I love you. this picture. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you guys. I will see you next time. I can't wait to see your doodles. Have fun. Bye.